The dispute this week between the British Columbia and Alberta is not a constitutional crisis or a trade war as such, but it has elements of both. And of course we're talking about the BC government announcing this week it wants to maybe bring in regulations that would oversee how much bitumen Alberta can ship to the West Coast. Of course, bitumen comes from the oil sands, very, very heavy oil. And uh, BC is saying it wants to put a limit, perhaps, on how much Alberta can ship. Now, Alberta is furious, saying that that's a federal responsibility, that right now what we're really talking about is the potential or the proposed expansion of the Kinder Morgan pipeline, the Trans Mountain pipeline from Alberta to the West Coast. BC doesn't like the pipeline expansion, of course, the NDP government backed by the Green Party in BC is very anti-pipeline. But that pipeline expansion was approved by the federal government and the Alberta government is furious with BC saying it has no jurisdiction, has no power to try and regulate what goes through that pipeline. So the provincial government, Premier Rachel Notley, is calling, is demanding the Prime Minister get involved and not just say he supports the pipeline, that it will get built one day. She wants him to come out and say basically that John Horgan, the Premier of BC, is way offside on trying to regulate an interprovincial pipeline. And so this issue has potential impact for the rest of the country because if Horgan can go ahead and do this without being slapped down by the federal government, then other provinces could then in the future question the authority of Ottawa and the federal government to actually approve interprovincial pipelines or other projects. So what's at stake here isn't just Alberta versus BC. It is, as Premier Notley pointed out, more about BC versus the rest of Canada with implications for our confederation down the road. I'm Graham Thompson with the Edmonton Journal.